Hi guys, today you will learn how to draw this artwork on yoga theme. I will leave you a link to download my sketch so you can follow me from the start. Open new artboard, it should be 2000 pixels in height and width. Go to file, select place in the drop down menu and look for the sketch you will be working on. Click on place and adjust your sketch size so it fits the artboard. Go to the layers menu and lock your sketch out so it won't move in the process. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape. It should be 30 pixels in height and 2000 pixels in width. Hold Alt key while dragging to create a copy. Hold Shift while rotating. Hold Alt key to resize shape from center. Hold Alt key while dragging to create a copy. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape. It should be 15 pixels in height. Select both shapes while holding Shift key, release Shift key and click on the shape below once again to make it a key object. Go to Align panel and put 150 pixels and click on Distribute Space Vertical option. Make 4 extra copies. Select all shapes and click on the bottom shape once again to make it a key object. Go to Align panel and click on Distribute Space Vertical option again. Select all shapes except the bottom shape and hold all while dragging to copy the object. Don't forget to hold all key while dragging to make a copy. Go to Transform and change height to be 15 pixels. Make extra copies. Select lines while holding Shift key, release Shift key and click on the shape on the top once again to make it a key object. Go to the line panel and put 80 pixels and click on distribute space vertical option. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape for the floor. Take the rectangle tool once again and draw a shape. It should be 15 pixels in width. Hold Alt key while dragging to create a copy. Make the rest of the copies by using shortcut. Hold Command for Mac or Control for Windows and hit letter D on your keyboard. Select all vertical lines, click on the shape on the right once again to make it a key object. Go to Align panel and put 80 pixels, click on Distribute Space Horizontal option. Let's create a pattern of a brick wall. Follow my steps and don't forget to hold Alt key while dragging to create your copies. Select all shapes and change color. I have my colors in the swatches panel. We'll leave a link for you to download it. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape. Change color to the lighter paint. Draw one more shape, change color to a darker pink and send it behind. Select shapes for windows and group it. Command G for Mac or Ctrl G for windows and align it to the center. Bring the sign on the top. Select objects and group it so the layers panel is a bit neater. Always tidy up on the go, it will be easier to you if any edits will be needed in the future. Bring the shape on the top. Go to object arrange and click on bring up to the top. Change fill color. We are done with the background. Bring your sketch on the top. Unlock it. Lower the transparency to 70% and lock it again. Take rounded rectangle tool and draw a shape. Select bottom right points with direct selection tool and move it inward by hitting arrow key. Do the same with the left side. Use pen tool for the plan. Select it from the left toolbar or hit letter P on your keyboard. Follow the sketch. Select smooth tool in the left toolbar and with the stroke selector gently draw over to smooth it out. If you can't see smooth tool, look for it under the pencil tool. Repeat the same steps on the rest of the leaves.
use pen tool to draw lines in the middle. In the upper menu, select ends of a line to be rounded and change throw thickness to be 8 points. I think this line would look nicer if the curve is more obvious. Use direct selection tool to move handles. Lines are a bit too thick. Select all while holding shift key and change it to be 6 points. Use pen tool to draw half circles and add a bit more detail. I think lines are still too thick. Let's make it 4 points. Change throw color to the light blue from a swatches panel. Let's add linear gradients to the shapes. If you can't see gradient panel, go to window and select gradient in the drop down menu. You can adjust gradient angle with the gradient tool from the left toolbar. Replicate throw color and gradients to the leaf on the left by using the eyedropper tool. Select it from the left toolbar or hit letter I on your keyboard. Let's make a leaf in the middle a bit darker. Select leaves one by one and group it, arrange it accordingly. Apply linear gradients to the pot as well. Select all shapes and group it, hide sketch. Copy shape of a pot and create a shadow. Change fill color. Change this shape fill color to be a bit lighter so the shadow doesn't blend into it. Hold all key to resize shape from the center. Use shape builder tool from the left toolbar to remove overlapping parts. Select both shapes and click on the part you want to separate. Select shape that's on the top of the pot and hit the lead to remove it. And hide your sketch. Take rounded rectangle tool and draw a shape. Select top left point and move it inwards. Do the same with the right side. Apply linear gradient. You can add extra colors by clicking with your mouse below the gradient slider. Hold Alt key and drag it down to create a copy. Replicate the color from a pot shadow by using eyedropper tool. Send it backwards. Hold Command for Mac or Control key for Windows and hit left bracket. Select and group it. Let's work on the main object, use pen tool. It's a lot of face how to do it, but I will trace whole figure now and will divide it into separate parts after. Draw lines where you want to divide shape. Make sure it goes across the edges of the main shape. Select shape and line while holding shift key and hit divide in pathfinder panel. If you can't see pathfinder panel, go to window and select pathfinder in a drop down menu. Repeat the steps.
After dividing object, shapes will be in the group by default. Ungroup it and start adding color. Don't forget to remove stroke. You can remove colors from gradient slider by dragging it down. Trace the lines inside. Use smooth tools to smooth out selected path. Select shapes, change stroke to fill, and with the both shapes selected, hit minus front in Pathfinder panel. Change fill to stroke again and keep dividing path. Change stroke style and thickness in the upper menu. Add some dots onto the t-shirt to drag more attention. Pick white color for fill. The Shape Builder tool to remove parts outside the t-shirt.
almost done few minor adjustments left align points so there is no odd edges. Select all shapes of the figure and group it. That's it guys, time to export your artwork. Go to File, Export, Marcus Arbus and choose PNG for the format. Click OK. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something new.